Hey there, boys and girls. Hope you're doing well. Um, I hope you like my quarantine beard. I haven't shaved since we went under quarantine. And I think I'm gonna get rid of it today, unless you guys wanna throw in some money and we keep this bugger going for a little while longer. Uh, so let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what the dollar amounts are, but I don't want any of that Bitcoin stuff though. That stuff is fake money, I'll tell you what. You know what else is fake? Popularity. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. So, in all of this stuff that's going on right now in our world, um, I keep looking at the stock market and you see the ups and downs and, and uh, everybody's worrying about their retirement and what's this gonna mean. And I got to thinking about you young people's social stock because really that's maybe, maybe at the top of some of your lists, maybe all of you think, you gotta think about it to a certain extent. So I've been wondering about this and I understand, you know, there's no prom um, and get togethers and uh, no like uh, get togethers with, you know, your girlfriend or boyfriend. And yeah, I just, I wonder how you guys are dealing with that. I mean, you know, if there's no prom, I mean, are you guys, like relieved a little bit in some ways because it's like don't have to try to look good and don't have to try to dance good on the dance floor uh you don't have to party good like you know yeah i do this all the time i'm so bad but i just wonder like um you guys will relieve for that because that can bring a little bit of stress um you know or maybe um maybe you know, you're sad or mad because you're like, well, you're really looking forward to dressing up or going with this girl or that boy. And maybe that was going to increase your social stock a little bit. And it's like, yeah, it's my time to shine. I'm a good dancer. Um, you know, Ashley's really good at beatboxing. You know, she'd probably get up there and, you know, beatbox on, you know, the dance floor or something. I don't know. So, um, you know, maybe you're a little indifferent. Uh, maybe you just don't care. Uh, maybe your thing is social media and you're like really top-notch and like you're still trending up don't matter what else is going on um, but so curious um, Not that I expect you to share that stuff with me But just think about it a little bit and ask yourself kind of where you're at with all that so You know and all this time you guys are probably wondering you know how yours truly uh, Trended up in his high school days starting out my freshman year um, you know, I honestly have to give props to my older sister. Um, she was two years older than me and she was popular. So kind of just, you know, my wagon was kind of just hitched to hers automatically. And, um, you know, that kind of meant that, you know, all the, all the boys were, if they wanted to win her affection, that they had to be nice to younger brother. And so, Guess who got rides home after school instead of riding the bus? This guy. Uh, guess who you know, got invited to the parties? This guy. And so, I, you know, it kind of uh, you know, got to the point where I was like, well, what's this guy doing, you know? I didn't know Joel so popular. Not only is he not getting shoved into lockers and beat up by the, the older dudes, but they actually seem to kind of like him for some reason. You know, what's going on here? But, you know, that was the true story. It's like... Um, I just, I just kind of rolled that wave and, uh, you know, unfortunately it did lead to me like abandoning some of my like best friends in my grade, the guys I came up with. And that, that's a, that's a story and a devotion for a different time and yeah, not to fall into that trap either. Um, because you know, after, after all that stuff was done, after high school was done, it was, uh, you know, it was just like poof, you know, you step into college and you know, the stage is reset. Um, you know, kind of every everybody's back on the same level. They don't know anything about you. And uh, so, I mean, this is good news for you dorks out there. Um, you know, you can shed that or, you know, this might be bad news for your popular people out there because it's like, you got to build that back up again. So, um, you know, I look at uh, popularity as being what you would call fleeting and for those of you not up to speed on your vocabulary and have been skipping lessons, fleeting, adjective, lasting for a very short time. And my lovely wife, Gina, 
she commented about this and she brought this up about the college thing because that's what she found when yeah she first started college that you know everything was all of a sudden new and the only thing you had to rely on is your faith and your spiritual god-given talents that's that's really what you had to lean on when you're nobody basically starting out again so um so i would encourage you guys if you're not studying anything else or, you know, uh, scripture wise or nothing's like standing out, like, you know, you really want to dive into something. I encourage you to find out what your spiritual gift or gifts are. Because uh, these, these are your true building blocks for your life. And these talents that you'll eventually discover, because you will, uh, these are not what we like to call fleeting these are permanent, these are kind of eternal type stuff we're talking here. Um, and they're given to you by your creator, of course. And the cool thing about finding your spiritual gifts or gifts that God will reveal himself through these, not only to you, but to others. And people will notice. And people will be drawn to you. And be careful not to use them for your own glory or or some situations will actually start to become fleeting once again because people will see it's not for real and you'll also will also work against the kingdom of god so you know for example the easy one talent if you're funny use it to uplift people brighten people's day uh, if you are indeed what i would say fake popular fake news fake popular Use it to be a leader. Uh, use it to extinguish some of the popular cliques that make people feel left out or even lead to bullying. So, where do we search to find out how do we do all this stuff? Read 1 Corinthians. You're going to read about popularity and people who think that they are so wise here on earth. And it'll speak in some truth into that situation. It'll also talk about spiritual gift and the awareness of that and really good stuff just take some time you got time to do it read first corinthians and you'll be very interested so don't be discouraged if you're seeking it doesn't dawn on you like very quickly uh, just keep searching for that and it, it may end up being more obvious than you even think it's you know that you'll know when you when it's revealed to you so um but in all this too don't fall into the trap too of feeling on the outer crust um maybe spiritually unpopular and what i mean about on the outer crust like outer crust of like sunday school stuff like that outer crust of church like i'm only one foot in i don't know you know if i've done enough to uh you know uh, even even have an awareness or maybe you know i'm not in good favor with god uh, to find that, don't be fooled by that. You are viewed and loved by God just the same as those who have been searching, researching this stuff for years, who seemingly have, a, a, you know, really popular kind of good spiritual relationship with God. You're no less. Don't forget that. Um, and, you know, as long as you're seeking uh, and stuff, it doesn't matter when you get to that point. Uh, realizing what your talents are and stuff and you know that goes with other stuff too like your spiritual relationship with God just get there it doesn't matter where you fall in line with that um, if you need some reassurance on that don't take my word for it read Matthew chapter 20 verses 1 through 16 it gives a, a great uh, parable about it um, and that's one should stick with you and you should remember that one so um Point being, God always views you like it's the first day of college. Level playing fields, everybody else. And he's just looking for those spiritual gifts that he can reveal himself through you with. So, so friends, thanks for spending some time with me today. I'll be praying for you all. Hope you're not worrying too much about your social stock and your social net worth. And always, as always, be aware of fake popularity. We'll see you later.